tech world is not just coding if you have some doubts in your mind you will not be able to pick up anything as a passion because you always have that fear hi all today we have a special interview with master adar who is one of the kripa ambassador along with him we have his mother mrs geeta and uh, miss rakhi coach of adar thank you all for taking your time for the conversation uh, mrs geeta would like to start with asking as a parent what expectation do you have from your child in terms of his holistic development okay hi good morning everyone so first of all thank you santosh uh, i think we started with the uh, friendly interaction with you which eventually got us to qtpi uh, thank you so much uh, so yeah so about the holistic uh, development for the child uh, my approach really was that the child should be able to uh, take up anything that comes his way he shouldn't have that inhibition no no i don't want to do it so initially we started with that we tried to put him in everything a uh, beat sports beat in school and uh, the activities swimming and badminton and everything so that he could try but uh, eventually because i felt that sports is one of the main thing that could actually uh, keep you fit not just physically but mentally also so uh, okay so from the coming back to the holistic perspective my only expectation was he should be studying well should be able to focus on what he is doing keep himself fit uh physically and should be able to uh, team up anywhere like wherever required i would not want him to be kind of go everywhere and make new friends but wherever it is required uh, he should be a, a person who is willing to help and uh, is also able to ask for help yeah so in that uh, i guess qtpi happened by chance uh, we were not looking for that and uh, thank you rakhi ma'am thank you to all the curriculum that is being created by the team he picked up really well and he took all the baby steps to open up with ma'am and to the subject and then he was always looking forward to the class so i think he found one of his passions uh, via this program uh, so thank you yeah yeah wonderful to hear so i understand like you wanted a child a holistic development in terms of collaboration communication help him to become public speaking and identify what he loves doing it if mm-hmm. i really understand from what you're saying Yeah. So I recently have happened to witness his uh, A B L I session. I would say it was fantastic to see him from the what Raki told me about him in the past and the way he has evolved. What did it mean to you to see him go live on A B, which as an adult I would be very scared to do? Yeah, even uh, I wasn't too sure. I, I, I remember Raki ma'am mentioning earlier also that there are other kids who are going live, and I frankly would say I was also waiting for that to happen. But uh, uh, I wasn't too sure how will he do it, frankly. Uh, but then I remember Raki ma'am going, taking him through the practice. She understood what the child is capable of, like in the sense that uh, uh, his nature actually, what he could do well. so she kept it open to him that what he wants to do and then um, that way it helped him really well and i was so good uh, to witness that yeah he could explain what ma'am had uh, uh, basically worked with him uh, really nicely yeah thank you yeah so i understand from you saying that i think that you would respect for any teacher is to address is understand a child's uh, i would say behavior help the child to unfold and probably take it forward so the child blossoms is it right yes that's really important and i guess as a parent we generally are in a rush to give them everything they should be doing and rakhi ma'am really helped me understand that as well when she was telling me that okay uh, no no let him do what he wants to I, and we were like no it's such a basic project and she was like no we will see then how we can add little complexity so that he can present it to them and then uh, maybe uh, change the way he presents put up more items so i think uh, that really helped him uh, he knew what he wanted to do and uh, he, he practiced with ma'am telling her that okay this is how we will go and he actually had those right set of questions being put on the right time because as a child he was forgetting okay you have to go little into more detail which the questions helped him explain mm. uh, yeah so that way it was really good thank you uh, congratulations rakhi for your perseverance you. and i'm sure that has yielded some interesting result to see mm-hmm. another yes. awesome yeah uh, 
uh, Atar, first of all, congratulations. How does it feel to learn and teach coding for others? Uh, like, it feels good because, like, uh, the code when you are doing, like, the coding with the blocks and the deciding of buttons and many things you can do by code, make projects, games, and you can also, like, make something, like, for uh, for colors like which color makes how much how much color makes this much so basically that okay wonderful so you enjoyed uh, yeah, you, do, like, you can change the you can see how much color you did okay wonderful so you were saying that you enjoy learning as well as teaching others is it right and i hope you would like to teach to other children of your friend circles or anger than you Maybe he yeah. actually did that. Oh, okay, he did that. He, he 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 wants to meet people over Zoom, show his projects, and one of my friends' uh, kid who is almost ten, and they did a basic one in school, and he worked with him, spent two hours like showing what we can do. So yeah, he did that. He's been doing it for long, and he only wants to do that because he enjoys. He will say, "Come on my Zoom, I'll show you projects, and then we'll do something." Wonderful. So he already has the skill of collaboration, and I don't think we need to teach him any more on this part. I think we should probably learn from him. I don't think as a child I would have probably done something like this. And amazing. Congratulations, Atar, and keep doing it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So this must be an amazing to see him open up. Uh, Gita would like to ask you how convinced were you to put Atar into coding? Because I have two questions because I'm asking this because one of the reason I see his parents think that. The kids are too young to code, and the second I see, there are a lot of platforms, self-learning platforms, which are free in nature. So, how were you convinced to put other into coding? Um, as I told earlier, also it happened by chance, uh, and we had confidence because we had interacted with you, Santosh, and we had a reference from a friend of mine that let's get started. The level one will be fine. And once we went through uh, his progress how he picked up his interest we got convinced and uh, as in me and my husband both we are into software engineering and uh, eventually uh, because he isn't too much active running around and all uh, so we were happy to see him engage somewhere and how he picked up all the concepts with ma'am's help so yeah then we got convinced and he's already waiting for his next level <laughs> yeah yeah, I think sometimes luck by chance are important to happen. Yes, yes, yes. They do do sometimes differences to people. Yeah. Uh, Rafi has a coach. Can you tell us some strategies you use or pedagogy you used in order to help others unfold himself? Because it's a very, very important to, thing to you know a lot of teachers to know. Like there's a quite a child in my class or a shy child in my class, and they find it very challenging the child to unfold. So how do you go about it? First of all, uh, we have to. Uh, uh, establish a connection with the student. That's very important. Uh, we uh, once the connection of a teacher and a student is established, you know, then the flow of uh, information or energy it's very smooth. Yeah, it's kind of a um, two-way process. Uh, then the students also feel com uh, comfortable with the teacher. Teacher has to be very patient. Uh, it, she or he cannot expect that it can be turned overnight because you know a child also needs time as many of us needs time to open up even with the students in new environment new this thing so we need to be patient bond with the student and give them the space to communicate only then it will open up slowly slowly that then they feel okay he is or she is being heard in listened so then they would like to share more and then the process starts evolving on its own. The ball keeps rolling. So I think so it was, it came up, it, I did not think that way. It, it was just, it happened slowly, smoothly, it just happened. So uh, the process was really enjoyable. As a teacher, I felt that when each step, he would come up with his own concepts and he will share. He has got a very clear mind of his own. Whatever I will teach, he will not do exactly that. He will try to understand, communicate if he is not understanding, and try to add his own features. Ma'am, can we do this way also? So that gives the space, you know, and that I used to also like that. 
that he is thinking away he is not thinking in one uh, one track he is thinking beyond so that uh, it was a two very very happy moment for a teacher student when he used to also do i used to feel happy he used to feel happy it was an achievement win win situation actually okay so you felt that he was uh, really but i would say that you understood his uh, pulses and you helped him mm -hmm. to unfold and you also worked based on his strength rather than other challenges yes yes okay uh, geeta and atharv i would like to ask you one thing like okay i am sure you gone through this uh, fb life event uh, is there anything else that you think we could do better in first in fb life and something else away from this program okay so from my perspective i think uh, this was a uh, really well collaborated we had the way we do in the corporate world we have to be well prepared before we go for a presentation so that was really done well we had good support from uh, ma'am uh, that was fine and i think on the next level maybe uh, you guys would have thought about it because the kids are small yet maybe we can next time pick up two kids together and then put them as a team maybe uh, not Uh, i don't know how will it work in the virtual environment for now but yeah that way they will understand what we have to do uh, some one child owns one piece of thing and the other child thinks of something else or maybe also think about the idea how you can actually make the snake game what they see when it is a snake game they would have played on their own um, house or learned from ma'am but what more we can do maybe from artistic perspective or make it in complex adding scoreboard or something Uh, they might not be able to do everything from implementation side but yeah giving them the thought to think beyond and as a parent maybe uh, some of the parents can pitch in and take a session with children sometime uh, i'm not sure how comfortable other parents will be uh, like uh, doing like two child one parent kind of a session but yeah like ma'am take some time one of the parent can also come and talk about one project or explain something to the children like that as a class not like two to one kind of a mapping okay i think that yeah, we can we would like to invite you uh, to uh, uh, as a guest and a host for a one of session and we're looking forward you to conduct a class for uh, maybe one of the batch to start and we would like to collaborate on those aspect i think is a wonderful feedback and i think this suggestion we will take it very positively and we going to probably start very soon with you mm -hmm. uh, from a personal note on my side i feel i would like to see other doing a ted talk Uh, i yeah. hope uh, that would be an interesting thing to work for, uh, with rakhi and with athar and you in collaboration and see him speaking for event uh, thank you very much uh, geeta athar and uh, rakhi for your valuable time and it was wonderful talking to you and looking for, forward for more such conversation thank you sure thank, thank you so much thank you ma'am